Hi, it's Nick from Nick's Nutrition and in this video I'm going to show you how to make almond, chocolate chip and peanut butter bags. So this recipe really is super simple to make. All you need to do is throw a load of ingredients into your food processor and then put the dough balls into either the fridge or the freezer for later. So if you want to make this recipe, all you'll need is a cup full of ground almonds, so I buy them pre-ground from the supermarket. You'll need a quarter of a cup of chickpeas. Now stay with me, in this recipe you can't taste the chickpeas are there. You'll need a couple of tablespoons of sweetener such as stevia or I've got xylitol, a teaspoon of vanilla, and either three tablespoons of peanut butter or I'm using powdered peanut butter, PBB, and I'm actually gonna use their chocolate version today just to lower the fat and calorie content. And if you're using this, you'll need four tablespoons of the flour and two tablespoons of either water or milk. And then to stir in, you'll just need a couple of tablespoons of dark chocolate chips. I choose dark chocolate rather than milk or white chocolate just because it's got more antioxidants, so more goodness and less added fat and sugar. So all I'm going to do is whack all the ingredients into the food processor. So I forgot to say, you want to put all the ingredients apart from the chocolate chips into the food processor and even though I've used the chocolate version of PBB, you can use their original or the one that's flavoured with stevia. Um, so I'm just going to blend this all up and once it's blended I'm going to stir in the chocolate chips. So the mixing of the dough doesn't take long, but basically you'll know when it's ready, when it starts to like roll, roll into a dough ball. So you can either put the chocolate chip straight in here, or I find it just easier if you pour it into a bowl and then stir in your chocolate chips. So once I've put the mixture into the bowl, I just use my hands to stir in the chocolate chip just because I felt it was easier. Then all you want to do is break bits off, and my hands are slightly damp for this bit, otherwise they will get very sticky. Roll a bit of dough, in your hands into a little ball and just pop it on a plate lined with baking paper. I did quite a similar recipe um, the other week called protein peanut butter balls. This re recipe is really similar but instead of using flax seeds and protein powder we're using the almond and instead of the like nut butter we're using the PBB. So I'm nearly at the end of the mixture and these bites taste amazing. They taste a bit like raw cookie dough and they're perfect for an in-between meal snack or after, after your evening meal if you're anything like me you really want something sweet and these are perfect. So once all your little bites are on a plate you want to go pop them in the fridge for about 30 to 60 minutes. So once the little bites have been chilling for 30 to 60 minutes they'll firm up and then they're ready to enjoy. I would personally keep them either in the fridge or the freezer for later in either a plastic Tupperware container or a little bowl and I'll put all the information about calories and carbs as well as ingredients on my blog which is nixnutrition.com and I'll link that down below. So thank you very much for watching, hope you found this video useful and if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.